published 2003 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 27th of June 2018, updated 2013 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 27th of June 2018, Toronto App Cricket Canada President Ranjit Saini hopes the star-filled Global T20 tournament that begins Thursday will help give the sport a big boost in the country. I believe this is a beginning of building Canada as a cricket nation, Sine said Wednesday. The Mercury Group, an India-based media and talent management company that is the driving force behind the Canadian event, is looking to find a profitable window in the crowded cricket calendar. The inaugural six-team tournament in the 2020 format 20 overs per side runs through July 15 with 96 cricketers drawn from around the globe and across Canada. Broadcast partners were only announced Tuesday. We down the rabbit hole now, said tournament director Jason Harper. For us there's a market, he added. There's interest by the international cricket community, there's interest by the players and there's interest by the fans here. Why not? It's a fact-finding mission. We'll see how it goes. It will develop, a diplomatic sign he said he was, generally satisfied by the arrangements to date, saying they would improve in time. The Toronto Nationals, Montreal Tigers, Winnipeg Hawks, Edmonton Royals and Vancouver Knights join a Cricket West Indies B team at the tournament, which will take place at the Maple Leaf Cricket Club north of Toronto in King City. West Indies, Darren Sammy, Toronto, Chris Gale, Vancouver and Dwayne Bravo, Winnipeg, Sri Lanka's Lajith Malinga, Montreal and Pakistan's Shahid Afridi, Edmonton offer star power as team captains. Former Australia captain Steve Smith, Toronto, and vice captain David Warner, Winnipeg, returned to action after a ball tampering scandal in South Africa that earned them one year bans from Cricket Australia, although they are allowed to play club cricket overseas. Each of the five domestic teams features four Canadians. The number of Canadians is expected to rise in future years with Mercury helping with the training and development of local talent. A normal 2020 match lasts between three and three and a half hours, about the same time as a baseball game but there's a lot more happening during the T20 game, Harper says. It's vibrant, it's loud, it's colourful, it's consistent action, he said. The five Canadian teams each have a salary budget of $550,000 with individual pay ranging from $100,000 to $3,000 depending on where the player was drafted. Cricket West Indies is taking care of its own squad. Nikhil Dutta is the highest drafted Canadian player in the league at $25,000. Harper, who has soccer experience with CONCACAF, previously was operations manager and CEO of the Barbados Trident's cricket team in the Caribbean Premier League. Married to a Canadian, he moved to Toronto in December 2015 from the Cayman Islands. The Canadian teams are coached by Jamaica's Donovan Miller, Vancouver, Trinidad's Phil Simmons, Toronto, Pakistan's Waqar Yunus, Winnipeg, Australia's Tom Moody, Montreal, and Pakistan's Mohamed Akram, Edmonton. Harper said the King City facility drew some 12,000 people for the 2008 final of a tournament with Canada, Zimbabwe, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. We aren't going in that direction yet, we're starting small, Harper said. Although this is a blockbuster strategy, this is a blockbuster small movie. We're starting with 7,000 seats, sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.